Hey, we are back. Well, I, I say we're back, but we're not really back because we're at AMA West right now with Chris Puckett and his brand new baby, the uh, the Waco. And I believe it's a YPF seven, Chris, or, uh, or five. It's YPF five. So, Chris, could you could you please uh, uh, talk a little bit about the design? What was the uh, the the catalyst? What 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 got you thinking Waco Vice? Maybe Stearman and if you could just you know show a little bit about the plane, some of the some of the features of this, I, I can't wait to be released airplane. <laughs> sure, uh, I mean a lot of guys, you know, we love the biplanes, the classic biplanes. We currently have the single cell Stearman, looking for something a little bit more performance oriented, uh, but still have the same classic lines. So we decided on the Waco. Uh, size wise, it's quite a bit bigger than the Pitts. Uh, Five hundred. Yeah, it, it looks it. it. It's it's that is a lot. As I told told you just a minute ago, that is a lot of plane for $130. Yeah, it's about four inches bigger than the fits. Yeah. So very light wing loading, so it can fly very slow. But went ahead and enlarged the ailerons. Has a 3,000 kV motor, so plenty of power. Uh, the 280 battery fits right up in the cowling. Yeah, let's get a, so, let's get a shot no of that. So, on the bottom. so that goes right inside the cowling, right behind the motor, Right correct? behind the motor, yep. Okay, so right, right in there. there. And you got a little Velcro in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. The 200 to 280 batteries work perfect. 200 to 280 battery, okay. So, and with the 280 battery, you can get about five or six minutes of very good flight performance. Some, some mixed sports scale flying, basically. Oh, absolutely. Straight Straight out of, off of charge, the 280 battery will give you pretty much unlimited vertical. Really? It's kind of crazy for how big the airplane is. Uh, is that a result of, of I, I'm assuming, probably the, a combination of the wing loading, the motor, prop combo, etc., etc.? Or, motor, or? prop, and just, we try to keep the airplane as light as we could. What, 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 and I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have the, the specs in front of me. What, what is she weighing in at? Oh, I don't remember the exact weight. Let's okay. Let's sure we have it here. Uh, didn't make the. Uh, okay, well that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Very lightly. Loaded. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. She's a stunner, and and talking about uh, those scallops, that 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 classic, uh, it, you know, 1930s, you know, vintage look. I mean, that's that's what you're trying to em emulate, clearly, right? Is sure, that? I mean, so they re-released the Wacos uh, starting in the 90s, and this is actually one of the newer schemes. That oh, okay. So the traditional Wacos had a straight leaning edge stripe typically. Ah, okay. So this just gives it a little bit more character. Uh, really stands out well in the air. Though. The blue really pops on the white. Sure, Doesn't sure. Doesn't matter really the sky conditions. Sure. Yeah, I saw I saw in the, the promo video that thing was just really, uh, and I don't know, was that you flying it for the promo video? Or was that was, Matt? Uh, or? I did the outdoor flying. Okay. And, uh, Matt actually did some of the indoor flying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love combination. I love that. Yeah, you're there in the uh, in the gym there, and got got the folks in there along that track. But yep. that's the plane appeared to be flying extremely solid, uh, very slowly, and and just had all kinds of power. Um, what are your thoughts with regards to maybe scale aerobatics? Probably the hammerheads, uh, the, the the you know maybe reverse F cubes, that sort of thing. So a lot um, of guys have been comparing it to the pits, mm -hmm. and it flies a lot like the pits in its aerobatic capabilities. Okay. So Good roll response, a lot of elevators, uh, good rudder authority, so mm -hmm. knife edge, no problem, mm -hmm. loops, hammerheads, cubans, snaps. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, it's a, it's a stunner. It is definitely a, a one of those must-buys. It's, it's going in the hangar. It will take a rightful, honored place next to the uh, UMX A10, which is which is sitting right there. <laughs> Um, and last, lastly, because I know you're going to be busy, you're going to have a lot of questions about this. I'm sure people are going to be all over, all, all over this model. But uh, where, where exactly did you place the 280 battery with regards to achieving the CG? Where, where, where do you recommend us first timers when we get this? We want to want to put her up in the air. What, so what? basically, anywhere you can get it on the Velcro. So if you look at the mount there, uh, it's not real specific. I mean, it's got a pretty broad CG range. Okay. And you're not going to be able to move the battery around a whole lot anyway. Okay. Okay. So anywhere you can get it in so there. So just so just get just get basically uh, maybe right behind this little right. engine motor bulkhead right here. Just yep, stick it right there perfect. in the Velcro, mm -hmm. and uh, make sure your control surfaces are all centered and then or, or rather uh, you know level. And she's gonna fly out of the box. Yeah, I have no doubt have in my mind. Three X as well, so a little sure. bit of wind. Sure. Power. Outstanding. No Outstanding. Well, hey Chris, thank you very very much for the inside look and uh, first look at it, at AMA West and.
I'm sure you're going to be answering dozens and <laughs> dozens of questions about this. Great job. Thanks for bringing this out. And uh, we really look forward to it being released. Thanks and, and, for stopping by. All right. Thank you.